Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some NFL with the hundreds and hundreds of B Taylor subscribers. So, I'm catching up on videos. Channel was down for a little bit, so it's another one of the videos. Um, we're going to speak on the Carolina Panthers, 25th overall pick in the first round. They raised some eyebrows. You know, they, they, they took a, they, they, it was a surprise who they took. I mean, Eventually, I'm going to post my reaction video because I have it somewhere on my computer. But um, we drafted Shaq Thompson with the 25th overall pick. Now, initially, I was like, why the hell are we drafting a linebacker 25th overall? We have so much needs to adjust. We have offensive line. We have a running back. We have a receiver. We, 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 we had so many things at that point to address. But the best line had fallen off the board. Uh... That didn't fall our way. So it's all about, you know, draft picks. And draft picks are not just about who you get, but how they fit on your team. So while Shaq Thompson was projected to be maybe a second round pick, you know, the fact of the matter is when it's all said and done, nobody really cares about the boards now. They care about at hindsight is 2020. So while people are saying we reach on Shaq Thompson now, if he if he comes in and does what he's capable of doing and he fits into our roster the way you know he looks the way that many people think he'll fit, then the fact that we've reached that 25 and took him won't really matter anymore. Shaq Thompson has a type of athleticism and the type of versatility that is unrivaled in this year's draft class. There's nobody who can claim that they were as athletic and multifaceted as a college football player than Shaq Thompson. We're talking about a guy who was a running back, a guy who had success at corner, a guy who was a defensive, you know, a linebacker of safety. He did it all, you know, just to reel off his, his stats for you. Um, you know, he played in 40 games for the Washington Huskies. He had three and a half sacks, 15 tackles for a loss, 16 passes defended, five fumble recoveries. Um, Played had, had, had a baseball career, so Shaq Thompson is athletic. We know that the homie Shaq Thompson um, is athletic. With that being said, you know how does he fit into this Panthers defense? Well, when we got him, I'm thinking, okay, he's a linebacker. How are we gonna play him as a linebacker? You know, we got Luke Keachley, the best in the game. We got Thomas Davis, one of the best in the game. What does Shaq Thompson fit in all, in all of this? Well, we can use Shaq Thompson in a multitude of ways. Um, he can either be kind of like an edge rusher, which he's more than capable of doing. Shaq Thompson is incredibly fast. He's a big kid. He's six foot, two twenty eight. Um, you know, long jumper has just great, 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 great athletic ability. Um, you know, when the Panthers are in the red zone, or the Panthers need somebody who can cover a team's tight end or a really big, physical, strong tight end, Shaq Thompson has this type of athletic ability to drop back and do that, and that's that's huge for the Panthers. Um, so for edge rushing, coverage, lateral quickness, sideline to sideline uh, athleticism, that's what the Panthers are getting in Shaq Thompson. They're getting, a, they're also getting a guy who can, you can plug in on special teams and they'll do wonders there. And I mean, if all else fails and D'Angelo, not D'Angelo, Jonathan Stewart gets injured again and Cameron Artis Payne doesn't pan out or he gets injured, you know, we have an emergency running back. So Shaq Thompson can fill in a lot of void to the Panthers, but, um, more specifically, you know, Thomas Davis isn't going to play forever. And I know we get signed up to a two-year deal, I believe. So he's not going to play forever. And you get you got, you got have to think about life after Thomas Davis. What do the Panthers do after Thomas Davis? And Shaq Thompson could very well be that answer po uh, for the for the Panthers will be after Thomas Davis. Um, you know, when Panthers first got Thomas Davis, he came in doing a lot of what Shaq Thompson did. Uh you know, was a, was, a, was a guy who was athletic, had great sideline to sideline ability, and um, could cover teams' uh, tight ends and all that stuff. So, and then, and then eventually he just became a full time linebacker. And, you know, he still still, still does, does that a little bit. But uh, when he was younger and more undersized and didn't have as much muscle on his frame, uh, he, he, he was more of a coverage player. So, with that being said, I like what Shaq Thompson can do, and um, you know I think he fits the Panthers' scheme very well. And the fact that he's coming and he's playing alongside Luke Keachley and Thomas Davis, you know, it makes this defense very scary. You know, and I know one thing that Gettleman and Ron Rivera really wanted to do 
especially because of how last year started out. You know, we had a very slow secondary, and, a, and, and the overall defensive speed of the Panthers was very slow. You know, you had guys like old guys, Roman Harper, Antoine Kaysen, um, you know, just very, 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 very slow secondary, very slow team. Um, for the most, for most of the year. Now, when they plugged in Ben A. Ben Wickery and Robert Lester and Josh Norman, when they plugged those guys in, you know, the, the team played better. You saw it in the second half of the year. So now that you, you, you had those guys coming back, you're going to have those guys playing. Uh, you add Charles Tillman, who's going to, you know, help take that secondary to another level and sure up a, a spot there. And then you add Shaq Thompson, you know, that Panthers defense all of a sudden has a, is, is very fast. The speed of the defense has increased a lot, and that's something that the team has been wanting to improve for many years now, and they've, they've done that, and it, it, it's coming together. So uh, I like the pick. I have I, I believe Shaq Thompson has a chance to um, win Defensive Rookie of the Year. I really think he does, just for the simple, the simple fact that um, he's somebody that fits very well. That's not necessarily that I think he's the best player or anything like that, although I – he has great ability. It's just the fit is there. The fit is there. The, the defense is established. It's, the team has won back-to-back -back division titles. The Panthers are a winning team now, right? This is not the Panther team that, you know, I know last year they won 7-8-1, but they won the division. They won the division last year. They won the division the year before being 12-4 with the second-best defense in the league. So Panthers, you know, while they had a bad year last year, add the records up the last two years, that means that they're, what, they're 19-12. and 12. They're seven games over 500 the last – you know, 19-12-1. So they're 19-12-1 over the last two years. That's seven games or 500. So he's in a winning team, winning culture. And uh, Ron, and I think, you know, just, just Rob with Ron Vera uh, being a defensive-minded coach, he's, he's going to know what to do with Shaq Thompson, and there won't be much of a problem plugging him in next to arguably the best linebacking core in the league. So great pick by the Panthers. Uh, caught me off guard, but, hey, I don't mind the pick, especially with um when, when you hear about Shaq. His work ethic, um, you know, just gets you excited. Uh, just with all, uh, with his playmaking ability and his versatility, just plugging that into our defense, which is already very good. You know, it's a scary thing to think about. So, um, good pick for the Panthers. Hopefully, uh, he translates, he, he, his game translates very well into our defense, and I think it will. So, what is your opinions, thoughts, Panther fans out there on the Shaq Thompson pick? Leave your comments down below, and we will talk some Panther football.